Well, hello everyone. Casino Duck here, your wannabe weekend woodworker. We are back with another build, and this time we're going to be making a cabinet. Well, a whole grain cabinet to be exact. Why, you say? Well, for the, the past year, me and the wife, we have been eating much healthier. So therefore, we have acquired a lot of whole grains. And we need a place to store all these grains instead of the kitchen counter. So that's what we're going to be doing this time around. So let's go ahead and get started. First up is the rail and style bit. Let's make some panels for the frame. And some dados for the back frame. And yay, we get to break out the monster bit. Let's level out some walnut. Now we can resaw that walnut into quarter inch panels. Okay, all the joinery is done. I sent that walnut through the baby sander, so it is time to put some panels together. Let's do it. We are going to make sliding doors with shelves on them. And under each shelf, uh, we're gonna be able to hold a towel and then some paper towels. So what we're doing here is just laying them out and then cutting them out. Some dados to hold the bottom of those shelves. Let's use Morris and tenon joinery to make these puppies strong. Let's add another upgrade to this cabinet, a wine rack. Oh yeah. This should make them almost bulletproof. Cutting out some wine glass holders. Now wouldn't it be nice to have a little drawer to hold your bottle opener and whatnot? Let's do it. Now we're going to need a pull for that drawer. Time to install those shelves. Now the only good particle board that I know is painted particle board, so let's get it done. And of course, we have to have a little bit of carburite time. Let's make some handles for those doors. While the carburite does its thing, assembly time. Oh yeah, gotta love the carburite. 
you can make some really amazing stuff with that. Let's go ahead and cut these handles out. Let's dress it up a little bit with some molding. Fast forward through all that wonderful sanding. Here it sits with the first coat of Danish oil. As far as installing this puppy, we're gonna go ahead and use a French cleat. One more coat of Danish oil, and then we're gonna follow up with some wax. Thank you everyone for watching this build, and until the next one, we'll see you then. Good night.